Welcome back. It's Beth again, and I'm hoping that you enjoyed your first week using McGraw-Hill My Math and took advantage of some of those things that we looked at last week. Now let's move on to week two, and let's look at uh, focusing on planning a little bit. I'm going to click on this Plan and Present tab. You'll notice that it's opened into all of the chapters here in grade level four. I've clicked on chapter three and there are all of the lessons. I'm going to go ahead and click on lesson seven. And you'll see here that it's opened as if I was using all of the resources that I would have in my print. Here's the vocabulary, all the components of a lesson, and notice the sketch pad is even here. But what I really want to go up to right now is this and that's this goal button called Launch Presentation. I'm going to go ahead and click on that now. And what's going to appear is the entire presentation from beginning to end. And if I go in this lower right-hand corner, it says Quick Navigation, I can see a bar of all 20 slides. Now, I can use these in the exact order that we've built them, or you may choose to rearrange them a little bit. We're flexible like that. It will access every single component of, this, of the lesson. And notice in the Investigate Math, these tools are all active for you. You can use these just as I am doing on the screen, whether you're using an interactive whiteboard or simply a projector, whatever you're using in your classroom. Also, as you move through the presentation, notice that this lesson animation, again, it's an open link. By sim simply clicking on it, I can go immediately to this lesson animation to use with a single child, a small group, or the entire class. So all of the presentation that I have is accessible for everything that I need to do to deliver this lesson in McGraw-Hill My Math. Also, I can add the presentation to my planner, and we'll look at the opportunity in another video on opportunities to customize that. So what would I like for you to do now? As you go into your plan to present and launch your first presentation, think about how you're going to want to use this in your classroom and practice it in your classroom using the tools that you're most comfortable with. Thank you.